Hello all traders. Today is Tuesday, 1st of October 2024 and we're going to review any trades that we're going to take on Nasdaq, Dow Jones and S&P 500 if we see low risk opportunities. If we look at the one hour micro chart, we see that the price during the Asian and London session was fluctuating above the previous day, close on all minis and after New York market opening, if we look at the 10 minute micro chart, we see that the price it started to drop sharply and it's going down now and there's a pullback here so our plan of action is to wait for this pullback to be completed and then take sell short position when the sellers come back again and if you see the price reach this level of support here and the buyers come back then we take long position on the reverse side when a well established uptrend is formed so stay tuned and we're going to update you with any trades that we're going to take today. So we're back and it's 11.15 and we're waiting for the pullback in a well-established downtrend. And this seems to be a good area. So I entered manually here, sell short position not to miss any trade and then set in another limit orders above that. And we're waiting to see if the second order get filled with better average or we reach the target we also set limit orders on the upper area of channel for Dow Jones and S&P 500 so we see that we reached the first target here we waited and we saw another deep pullback and now we entered again one sell short position on Nasdaq and setting other limit orders and waiting to see if the sellers come back and we reach the target since we see on cumulative delta and tick and by see that the buyers are coming back, I just closed this one with break even and we entered long position. So we're waiting for the buyers to come back and push the price higher now. And we just close it on the upper area of channel. We don't see any pullback on Nasdaq and Dow Jones. We may just re-enter again. Long positions on Nasdaq and adjusting the limit orders to be filled we are adjusting also limit orders on Dow Jones and S&P 500 to be filled the Nasdaq position was filled we are missing the S&P 500 and Dow Jones entry now we just entered manually on Dow Jones and entered manually also on Nasdaq and, and cleared the limit orders that was extra the S&P 500 position was closed by ATM. The Dow Jones and also Nasdaq was closed in the upper area of channel with profit. So it's very choppy and we, we are in the area of setup C. Now the buyers are strongly coming back and breaking this sideways pattern and the trend is very strong and doesn't have any pullback or limit orders was not filled so we're waiting for the price to reach the upper area and take one quick sell short positions when the number is round on nasdaq so i said sell short limit orders here and waiting for the sellers to push the price lower in the middle of channel and it's good to close it now for a quick profit we're not in a good area and the price will be choppy from now we'll come back again when the price is more trendy when we have a deeper pullback and the price is more directional we're back again and it's 11.45 and we had a deep pullback and the price is testing this level of support and the buyers are coming back strongly so we entered long positions on Nasdaq and S&P 500 and the S&P 500 was closed by ATM with a small profit and also the Nasdaq was closed with profit we had one position also with Dow Jones which was entered with limit order and closed with profit so that's enough for the day and let's look at the stats and all these signals were copied by copy trader to multiple Apex Trader funding accounts and we see the performance on one of these accounts here that shows it was positive with profit factor of 99 which is coming from 90% win rate 
100% from the long positions and 75% from set short positions and also the good average win to loss ratio of 27 the largest winning trade was 205 and the largest losing trade was four dollars so hope these trades taken by the past system for past scalping is useful for you and let us know if you have any questions have a wonderful day